Yo, what's going on and welcome back to some code vein. Last time we kind of started to figure out how our abilities and stuff actually work and that we can master them to use them in different codes, blood codes. And we also got a new friend. His name is apparently Stranger because our other friend got punched in the face and broke his mask. So hopefully he lives, but who knows. We're not far from the surface now. Uh, we also found a blood bead because we activated one of those spring things. What do we have here? That's quite valuable. Ooh, a boy. Use it well. I would like to try you. It's lighter. It looks a lot like this guy's sword. Ish. I like it. It's very fast. What is the cancel on this? Huh, I think it's cool. We'll, we'll use it. So far I've had the musket thing the entire time. The musket probably isn't that great. But since we're a ranged character, we might as well hold on to it for now. Or at least we're the ranged code. Let's hurry until we can get out Whatever the heck that means. Any... Oh, I see you. Watch out. Well, that went well. We didn't even get hit by his attack. He was just skulking. He's being a skulk lord. What is a venom cartridge? Temporarily adds the venom status effect to the current weapon. All right, that makes a lot of sense Now did Okay, so these things did get progress. I, I honestly don't know how this progress works if it's just literally kill enemies Or if I'm supposed to use these on enemies and then it gives me progress. I Have no idea. I did not see that guy. I'm glad that my friend mauled him well that's not a good noise oh hey we're on the other side of this now I knew we'd get here eventually watch your step some concentrate well there's no one right here this door is blocked There's a thingy here. More of these that we need to unlock our gifts. That's wow. Alright, that did a lot of damage. I don't think I want to try that. Wait. What the heck? I don't know where this guy came from. He must have been up in the ceiling. This lake was formed from a hole created by a thorn of judgment. So we were down there before. We gotta watch out on the ceiling. There's a lot of lurkers. Watch out for those squid lords up top. Oh, got him. Oh my goodness. Okay, so this only costs two. We can use this that costs one. All right, I, I feel like they want you to make use of your i a lot more. Because I think you get it back pretty consistently as long as you kill things. I 
hate that there's so many enemies below us that make a lot of noise. And I hate that they've introduced ceiling enemies because now I have to stare at the ceiling at all times. Oh, another thing to purify. Looks like we're almost out of here. I see daylight. Surrounding area mapped. Cool. Oh wait, we missed an item. We have to go back. Oh, hey. I would have missed that. Yep. You are not wrong. Sprint. Did we miss anything? I don't know. Can you look at the map? Oh, I guess this is the map. Duh. I don't think we missed anything. But I don't know if this map would show. It says 100%. That would lead me to believe we have explored everything. Whether or not we found everything is another story. Good. That's well, this looks surface. like a boss area. Oh, really? This is light from the surface? What was your first clue? Uh-huh, boss time, huh? Dude from before. He did go evil. What a loser. Once someone is lost, they can never come back. Cast aside your doubt. Well, at least he kind of saved the girl. At least from the guard dudes. Now we just have to save her from him, and then that solves multiple problems. Okay, that was a mistake. Oh! Alright, I apologize greatly. I would like to heal again. Oh, he's doing an explosion. Oh, he's giant now. to heal friendo I healed him but now I need help do you still have some healing left oh okay <laughs> hey we mastered all the things too Oliver Collins no she's all right By the way, both of you, all revenants must pay a levy. There are no exceptions. What? A vestige. Best to stay away from those stones. Anyone who touches them is defiled, transformed into the lost. Don't listen to their whispers. Someone has to be sacrificed. Without blood beads, we won't make it. Once she's settled down, let's get out of here. Why'd I choose blue eyes if they're gonna constantly turn red? Can I talk to people? I'll keep watch. Go and see if she's alright. Alright. 
I hear a voice. I hear a voice. Well, there appears to be nothing else here, so I guess I'm gonna touch the thing. Wait, what are you? I don't know. There was nothing else to interact with. Let go! It'll swallow you up. It's all right. You can do it. Let us keep them just this once. We won't make it if you take them. All revenants must pay a levy of blood beads. There are no exceptions. Sorry. Daddy! Mommy! Someone has to be sacrificed. Without blood beads, we won't make it. So normally they have to sacrifice a revenant to activate the springs, but I can activate the Few springs. Few humans that remain are under Silva's control. Wandering revenants like us are forced to hunt for blood beads or face death. Even if some revenants must be sacrificed for our survival. You reap what you sow, right? Well, that's all right. What's important is that at least one of us makes it. What does that mean? This is a memory echo. It's a place where lost recollections still wander. Come, let's move on. If you use that stairway, I believe it should take us back to the world outside this memory. Is this the past of one of the lost? No, there's no way. Well, it does seem like it has a lot to do with all of our columns. That's what you're asking. was a memory carved into that vestige by the one who left it behind I didn't expect that I'd get dragged into it too we both melted into you I can't believe this what a power come with me I know a spot where we can rest. I'm Louie. I'm researching blood beads. Nice to meet you. Well, he seems like an okay individual so far. Berserker Vestige Core. Features high strength and endurance. It's low Icor stock or Icor stock. I don't know how you're supposed to say it. Can be 
offset with heavy armor. There's armor in this game? So we have a new code, which means new things to master, since we did finish mastering everything in the caster code, so far at least. Ugly, isn't it? The Red Mist showed up a short time after the Queen was defeated. And when it did, it trapped everyone and everything inside, giving birth to the Society of Revenants ruled by Silva. The Jail of the Mists. As time passed, that was the name people gave to the world inside. The creatures trapped inside the miasma wander in a never-ending cycle of death and rebirth, always searching for blood beads to sustain them. Revenants need to have blood. Without it, they turn into those creatures we call the Lost. The Revenants who captured you were desperately searching for blood, terrified of losing themselves. It's a common fate these days. But ripples are beginning to form. You cleared the miasma and revitalized the blood spring. Where did you learn to do that? You've forgotten? <laughs> Anything you do remember? It's unusual, losing so much of your memory. I suppose it was the same for her. For now, just take it easy. Make yourself at home. I wonder if there's somewhere where I can change my shirt. I didn't realize it looked like this when I picked it. It's pretty gross looking. Let's talk to people. You're looking a bit tired. We can talk again later. Alright, you say so. It's warm here, isn't it? Everyone wants to know more about me, but I don't know the answer to any of their questions. All I can remember is that my name is Eo, and that my place is by your side. My name... I have no idea what it means. I'm not sure. It was simply decided. One does what must be done. And for me, that is my mission. To stay at your side. I was wounded while I was searching for you. I am not a very capable fighter. Hmm. Very interesting. We probably shouldn't play music just in case it's copyright or something. Talk to Louie to gather more information. All right, well, he said he didn't want to talk to me, so seems like it's going to be an issue. Hello, lady. You're an unfamiliar face. Has Louie stuck his head into another pot of trouble? Probably. Well, it's none of my business, really. Anyway, I'm Coco, a merchant by trade. Stop by if you need anything. Do you have a new shirt? Sorry, but I'm in the middle of taking inventory. Try me again later if you still need something. <sighs> Useless. What is this? A just appearance. This seems like what we may be looking for. Um, clothing. This. This is not what I wanted. I didn't realize it looked so much like blood. This one's kind of normal looking. It doesn't have the red tinge to it. This is kind of cool.
This goes with uh, the other part. Kind of like this. The spider webby stuff. Either that or this. Let's go with this one. Okay, so it's cool that we can always edit our character whenever we want. Um, I'm gonna... I'll just save it as a new one. Whatever. Okay, end customization. Alright. That's at least moderately better. You can claim pre-order bonus blood code Harbinger from the underground storage. Why are you telling me that here? There's a hot spring? What am I supposed to be doing? I'm supposed to be resting, so we should probably not do that immediately. We should explore first. I can just lie down anywhere? Sure, whatever. Uh, so this is probably the underground. Who's a Mawajit? Is the pre-order code down here? There's some ladders. Is this it? Nope. That's probably it. Harbinger. Code. Owner. Unknown. Boasts high power and unique gifts that can only be used by those with determination. I don't know if we should actually use that code. You acquired a new gest. Where are the gestures at? Look, I don't know how to do gestures. Whatever. I don't know what the gesture button is. I meant to look at codes, so. So we have the Berserker code, which increases our total weight by quite a lot. We have the Harbinger code. We'll probably just use, what? I can't use the sword? I can use the broadsword though. Why do we have two lost bayonets? Whatever. Then let's equip all of our passives. Flow of madness. What do you do? Increase the power of next attack. So this is definitely for heavier weapons. So we should probably bring the Juggernaut Sledgehammer. Wait, we should switch them around. There we go. I don't know if they're if it matters which one is your primary and your secondary, but so you can't use this while you are um a berserker. Interesting. Can use the triple annihilator. I feel like we should have a pull move. That seems useful. The heal move is useful. Triple annihilator, and then we should have like uh, the adrenaline. All right, let's go explore the rest of this area. I think there's some more people to talk to. All revenants carry some secret with them. Don't do anything funny. I'll be keeping an eye on you until this talk with Louis settles down. Okay. Sit. <laughs> what is the purpose of this? How do I stand up? Okay. Figured it out. Please stop zooming in. Oh, hey, another lady. Nice to meet you. If Louie brought you here, there must be some reason, right? I'm Rin Murasame. I provide the back home support for all the explorers here. It's a pleasure. I've got my own reasons for why I can't go into combat with you, but I'll provide your weaponry and maintain it for you. Anyway, relax and make yourself at home. I'll take care of all your weapon-related needs. So relax and... Oh, I walked too far away. I apologize, lady. 
What the heck? I want some of these. These look way better than what I have. There you are. The revenant that Louis sees so much potential in. I'm Davis. I go around for the provisional government as part of the investigation into the depths. Just as a warning, try not to stir up any trouble. If you do, I won't be able to do my job and, well, you get it, right? Okay, don't play music. Well, we should touch it anyways. I apologize, music player. I just want to touch everything in here. Can't play billiards, though. What a refrigerator. Children's favorite clown. That's kind of creepy. Begin training. What the heck? All right. Well, that was cool. Wait, I wonder. Hold on, hold on. We do this. Oh, you can't. I was thinking that maybe you could use. Wait, how how do I get my Icor back? Hold on, finish training. I wonder if you can use bow. So we lock on, do this, and then we do this. We get increased damage on that. Also building up more maximum I core. Oh, that's how the drain works, I suppose. So if you do the quick one, you get like one more, and if you do the charged one, you get two more. All right, that's kind of cool. I like it. All right, I suppose we... Well, I don't know if we're supposed to rest or lie in bed. So let's go lie in bed first because I assume that's the less likely thing that we have to do. We will lie in everyone's bed. Well, this accomplished about as much as I expected it to. After seeing the sit down thing, this does not surprise me. Is it different? Do they yell at me if I lie in this one? Nope. You could at least take your shoes off. Highly rude. All right, we'll go rest at the thing in the chick. Oh, we got a lot of haze as well. To the thing. All right, let's level up. Oh, we can level up lots. Gives us significantly more HP. Wait, didn't I say I wanted to buy something with my haze, though? Oh, that's the Harbinger one. Increases balance. I feel like we should buy this. Because that's just a passive we can get in every tree, right? So acquire this. And then we I think we 
can still get the same amount of levels. Yeah. And then, can we equip this balance thing? Yeah, here we go. So now we have four of these thingamajiggles. Okay, I rested. Am I done? The ability to draw strength from experiencing memories and the power to revitalize blood springs, both unprecedented. Sorry, but could I get a sample of your blood? We might understand more if we analyzed it. That seems a little bit extreme, much, don't you? Just a small vial, so you won't need to worry about bloodthirst. It'll take a while to get the results. Take it easy in the room back there while you wait. All right, because I have no choice. Lie down again, or are we done? I have no idea. Yeah, I'm thinking we might already be done. Fair enough. None of the other rooms are open. Oh, we could go to the hot spring. Let's go to the hot spring. A substitute for blood that suppresses a revenant's bloodthirst. A large specimen holds enough liquid to keep an adult revenant healthy for two months. Well, this was unexpected. I can't talk to you people? Why is everyone at the hot spring? Look back on past memories what does this do oh you can like watch old cutscenes and stuff i guess huh all right well i think we're done here yes go back to the home base i don't know if there's more of a point to that. Sorry, but I'm in the middle of taking. Oh my goodness. I've done what I can to look into your talents, and I've confirmed something surprising. Revenants have blood types that differ from those of humans. These types greatly affect a revenant's abilities. However, your blood has no specific type, or maybe more accurately, your type is broken. Your abilities, and the fact that you have no specific type, might be due to your being what we call a void type. You were able to gain another revenant's power through a vestige, right? That phenomenon is unique to void types. Supposing you are a void type, there's a test I'd like to perform. Don't worry, I'll get something out of it. I'm going to give you some of my blood. If my theory is correct, it should act as a medium give my power to you well here goes all right what happened prometheus a well well balanced for combat but fragile like its gifts bolter bolster dodging and parrying that actually sounds pretty cool. Did you go visit Murasame and Coco? They should be ready to do business now. Oh boy. Weapons and blood veils are vital parts of a revenant's kit when exploring. You should take another look at them. If you've got materials, upgrade and transform them. What? Once you've got that settled, talk to me again, and we'll continue where we left off. We can upgrade the blood veils? Got all these new blood codes now. It's too many. Too many codes. Probably should have waited till we got this one. Phantom Assault. Vanish like mist, then do a jump slash. Oh, that's what he was doing. An offensive skill performed with one hand, sword, halberd, or bayonet. There. What's this? Communal gift with Louis 
Increases attack and alters your evasive movements at the cost of damage reduction. So you have to be with Louie to do that one. I feel like we should carry that and the damage up. Well, let's go talk to Coco and uh, Murasame. I've got just about anything you could want. Fantastic, really. Even the lost are valuable customers if they bring the right coin. Let me know if you need anything. I thought lost were like zombies. Do they also buy things? Give valuables. I don't... What? Medicine in a lightweight and what which allows the user to work under great strain. The amount that can be absorbed by the body is limited, so the users must be cautious not to overdose. Temporarily reducing the time required to use gifts. Grants the use of praise. Highly valuable mineral made from special ore mix. Ask Murasame to use this to transform a weapon or a blood veil and imbue it with obstructive properties, creating an equipment specialized in slowing enemies at the cost of decreased attack. Why does everything decrease attack? If you want it, I got it. Glows dimly when a solution inside is mixed, due to it can always be shown its position to its owner from afar. I don't know what that means. Can block the effect if used before being afflicted. Causes slowly drained ichor to be used inside the body. The effect led some to believe it could be used to alleviate bloodthirst, but no favorable results have been reported. Fascinating. So she just seems like a general goods Got something to sell? person. And I guess I can give these to people, but I have no idea who would want these. Come again soon. Let's go over oh, here. Oh, good timing. I've got everything set up now. What do you need? I know it's a bother, but I'll need you to bring the necessary materials if you want to upgrade a weapon. Can't I just There's buy the necessary materials? These days. Still, we're better off than most people. Okay, so this is the same thing, but what do you have? Gesture... Why would I buy something from you to ask you to do something? Whatever. Upgrade equipment. What do you want to upgrade? Uh. What does this cost? It costs one queen iron and six hundred haze. I don't have any haze because I spent it all. Which blood veil do you want to upgrade? Also requires too much haze, but we should definitely make sure we do this stuff at some point. What is this? This is... I don't know what these are organized by. They must be like different factions or something? It just shows me a symbol, so I don't actually know. Which what weapon is, do you want to transform? What does transform even mean? A mass produced. Okay, okay. Into a Queen Slayer blade. It cost me $2,500 to transform it into the same thing. Look, I don't know what any of this stuff means at the moment. Like I can, I can figure that they get status 
of some sort. I don't know how good any of these status are. I don't know what half of the statuses mean. Which blood veil do you want to transform? So this does all the same things. Does it give more resistance? I assume it gives resistance to the to that thing instead. Devour gives more drain rating. Interesting. So we definitely need to make sure that we upgrade, but unfortunately, because I'm dumb. I've got new weapons of buying something. Crimson longsword. Queenslayer Claw 2. What's the difference? I don't see any difference whatsoever. It must just look different. Rebel Claw. Also must just be a different color because they have different colors in the top left corner. An ogre type blood veil used by the lost low durability but extremely lightweight that seems cool but i don't know what that means i wonder if we can like see them no there's no preview it looks like whatever this last faction is no one has any of it yet we could sell. Got something things. to sell? Like we have two of these. It sells for a hundred dollars. Thinking that's not really worth it. Okay, take care then. All right. Well, unfortunately, we can't upgrade anything at the moment because we don't have enough money. But next time we should definitely make sure we have enough money because that's a common thing in Dark Souls. You want to upgrade your gear as soon as possible because gear upgrades are worth a lot more than level upgrades. But I, I didn't know there were level upgrades. They weren't available to me. Like I tried everything before I went and leveled up. I just didn't know. But that's gonna do it for this one. Next time we'll go talk to Louie and do whatever mission he wants. And we'll try out this Berserker, we'll try out the Prometheus Code. Oh, we're currently in the Prometheus Code. Well, we should go back to the Berserker one first. Because that has an extra thing that we can master. And then we'll go to the Prometheus Code. And we can also try the Harbinger Code at some point. But either way, that's going to do it for this one. Hopefully you enjoyed, and I will see you next time.